Yo, what's going on, friends of the internet? Today we are going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vapid Caracara 4x4. I say brand new, this has been out for a couple of months, uh, but it was part of the newest DLC, which was the Casino and Resort DLC. This is the car we're going to be customizing and reviewing today. So let's crack on with it. We're going to start with 100% body armor as always, and we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. So we've got quite a few. Um, options for the front bumper which is nice hopefully they actually change the look of the front bumper which they do good start we've got the commercial we've got the utility and then we've got the painted utility the racing secondary racing heavy duty and the painted heavy duty so the heavy duties are pretty cool I actually preferred the racing ones I think out of all them rear bumpers uh, we've got a few options but it looks like the yeah they're not going to be crazy different, which is um, unfortunate. We've got the engine, level 4 engine upgrade. The exhausts. Where are the exhausts to begin with? Ah, so they are side exit at the moment. And we can change that to something which is called a side exit as well. And then we've got this long rounded, and that's a double. I actually prefer these ones, so we're going to go with them bad boys. Fenders. Three different options for the fenders, so we can change the the flares to color coder. We can chrome it, or we can stick some carbon fiber on this bitch. Going to leave the fenders stock for the grill. Three additional options. That's quite nice. The grated grill, I like that. Not sure. Nah, I'm not a massive fan of these second two. I think that's a bit too much with the big vapid banner across the front. I like it nice and simple like that so we're gonna go with a large grated grill for the hood I actually like the stock hood it actually looks really nice um, so we'll, but we're gonna see what other options we've got obviously um, chrome on the hood like that I'm not really sure about it I think it looks a little bit weird that's a nice one though that's pretty cool the low intake plastic with vents I actually like that digging up let's get it why the hell not Horn, we're going to skip. Lights, we're going to get the Xeon headlights. Then for the livery, obviously, it being a new DLC vehicle, it's going to have a shit ton of liveries. More liveries than anything else. But anyway, <laughs> let's do it. Double black stripe, double white. And then we've got the half painted stripe. Oh, yeah, at the top, I see. It was very subtle. Then we've got the chapel, uh, the two tone, the red painted. That actually looks quite nice with this color as well. Actually looks really cool. I like that, man. Uh, then we've got the Atomic Sponsor. Also looks really good. See, I think quite big liveries like this look nice on trucks. You know? I think they actually suit it quite nicely. Um, my favourite was this one. I actually really dig that. That's awesome. But I'm not sure with this hood now. So if we quickly go back to the hood. That's only because I'm not sure about this plastic stripe through the middle. It looks okay, because obviously it ties in well with the fenders and also the ball bar at the front. So I, I probably will end up keeping it because I, I actually really like that um, that hood. But this one's quite cool, the single plastic vent. See, I like the studs on that. It looks nice, it suits the grill as well. Then we've got the respray, primary colour. We're going to go classic because we do have a livery on this. Maybe a black steel. And no, I think it goes a little bit too light then. The graphite, we're going to go graphite gloss black or classic black secondary color we're going to go classic again and this one changes oh the panel at the front and uh, we don't want to change that next option we've got is the roof and we can change this up we've got the secondary roof and we've got the carbon roof oh, i suppose you won't see it because obviously i've got a livery over the top of it so we're just going to say stock for the roof for the racks that's pretty cool man we've got loads of options for this Oh, I like that one, how it goes all the way over the top. It looks awesome. Not sure about the chrome rack, though. The flatbed looks nice, like that. These ones look a little bit funky. I'm not sure about those ones. Um, I think my favourite was this one or this one. Keep it nice and simple. You know, nothing too crazy. I think I'm going to go with this one, though. Yeah, what the hell not. Let's go with it. Let's go with that bad boy. Suspension, we are not going to touch because a truck needs to be high and slamming it just ain't gonna work transmission we're gonna get a super transmission holy shit super transmission on a truck that's nuts turbo we're gonna get obviously get a turbo tune and for the wheels i don't think i'm gonna change the wheels because usually with shit like this you put aftermarket rims on it and 
the wheels are a fraction of the size for a start um, and they just look really odd but we're going to give it a go anyway and see what see what go, goes on so we'll go off road and to be honest the wheels size isn't that much different but it is different you can clearly see the aftermarket wheels are smaller and I don't want any of that so I'm going to stay stock for the wheels and to finish off this build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin so as we come out of LS customs you will see the vapid Karakawa 4x4 is looking beast it's such a nice looking car I'm not a massive fan of of trucks in general but you know this hits the spot the customization on it isn't overwhelming it's not you know amazing by any stretch of the imagination but there's enough there to keep me happy and with that super transmission you can feel it pull you can hear it roar and I'm actually really impressed with this car man or truck whatever you want to call it handling actually feels really nice and responsive for such a big car it it's really nimble as you see how it just pulls around these corners it's really nice I'm actually quite surprised of how well this is handling for such a big vehicle and it's you know pretty quick too one thing I do want to do before I finish this video is quickly spawn in the original Vapid Cara Cara so you can kind of see the difference so as you pop that one in there and you can see it's pretty much the same vehicle it's just that one wheel longer <laughs> and you've got a fucking massive turret on the back um, obviously this original Cara Cara is more for the multiplayer I suppose if you're in a lobby with your mates it's, it's going to suit somebody a little bit more to have this one if, if you want to go around and cause some carnage but if all you want to do is just have a really solid off-roader fast good at handling man you want to go with this bad boy because it is awesome I'm actually really surprised of how well it handles how quick it is and um, just just overall in general how it looks it just looks amazing such a nice looking vehicle a little bit lack on the customization there isn't much of it but there's enough like I said already to keep me happy but with that being said guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios